how to solve a physics problem. Here's a typical motion problem. The car moves 30 meters in 5 seconds. What is the average speed? So we have a car we have a car moving at for 30 meters. This might obviously that's a convertible and the time is for 5 seconds. And it's going to be moving 30 meters. So what makes physics hard is that it's a combination of science and mathematics. The language of physics actually being mathematics. So before we can um, do any calculations, we have to first understand the concept and then pick the correct equation to uh, solve the problem. The purpose of this first video is to uh, show you the step-by-step -step process of uh, solving a physics problem. And then as we go through some more, we can go a little faster, but first thing you want to do is make sure you understand the, the concept to the question, and which means you need to understand all the terminology, the units, and the equation. So here's a, a breakdown of the average speed slash velocity. The average velocity is your displacement divided by your time. So that's also used for speed, and when we go over the terminology in a second, you'll understand why. So the average velocity uh, can be calculated by taking the change, and that's what the triangle means, uh, and your distance or displacement divided by your your time. So first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you understand the uh, symbols or variables that go with each uh, quantity. So average uh, velocity is uh, the average, and the units are meters per second in physics. For displacement, uh, the symbol is d, and we use uh, meters for the units, and time is seconds. We'll explain what the triangle means in a second. So next thing we want to cover is the uh, terminology. Average velocity is the average speed of, of the initial speed and the final speed. The velocity is speed with the direction. So there's your difference between speed and velocity. Uh, speed doesn't need a direction, but velocity does. So that's why speed considered a scalar and velocity is considered a vector. Your teacher, your physics teacher, will talk more about the difference. Now dis the difference between displacement and distance is distance with a direction between the start and the finish of the object in motion. That is what your displacement is. So if we're only looking for the speed, then we would say average speed is equal to distance divided by time. And real quick, the triangles, if you have more than one distance or more than one time in your problem, that means you're going to need to do some subtracting if you have uh, two, two or more. So in an introductory problem, you have usually nothing to subtract, so it, it makes the mathematics a lot easier. So let's move on to uh, the calculation. We've go, gone over the concept, so now it's time to go over the mathematics part. Now to help students solve a physics problem, uh, we use a, or we like to use in my classroom, is called the circle label method. Uh, it ensures that you have an organized way of working with the, your data and making a smooth transition into your calculation. Now different teachers have different ways of, of teaching you how to solve one, but this is one that's been successful in my classroom. So here it goes, let me show you how it works. As you read the problem, you scan, th you scan through it, and you look for units. So for example, we see the meters here. Now since we kind of understand the concept, we should be able to match it with um, the quantity. So we know meters goes with distance in physics, and seconds goes with time. So you just circle anything that has units, and you label it with the letter that you would use in the equation. And what you want to do is also circle uh, what you're looking for and then also label it. So again, circle label method. So you want to match your units with your with your variables in the equation. Next, I have them set up a table for your knowns and your unknowns. This is helps is to help you organize your data. Do you have to do this? No, as you get better at doing this, but it's it's really good for beginners. So next thing you want to do is put all your your data in the, that's known in the left column, so distance is 30 meters times is 5 seconds, 
And then the unknown column is what we're looking for, our average speed. Again, speed in physics uh, is V. So here's our question mark, and then I like to put the units there uh, to make sure your, your answer makes sense. And finally, we get to our solution. Once we've uh, done our circling and labeling and we set up our data table, now we have to do is just plug in your, your data into the equation. And so here it goes. So you got your average speed, or average, in this case, your average speed is your distance divided by time. So we substitute 30 meters, and we substitute 5 seconds here, and you have, end up with 6 meters per second. So we're dividing a meter by a second. So our unit should be meters per second, and it matches exactly with what we're expecting to get. So again, note the triangle for D and T means change, or math of difference or subtraction. So if there's only one distance given in the problem, there's no subtraction needed to solve the problem.